Okay, I finally managed to get my uh, microphone working, so let's... Okay, a little bit laggy. Let's hope that dies down in a second. Um, or maybe, maybe lag would be good. Um, so I'm tempting to salmon currently. Can I? Yeah, okay, it's really hard to do the start without a speed boost. Good to know. Um, yeah, so uh, if you've if you've not seen if you've not seen my uh, recent video on salmoning, um, this is a thing you can do. Uh, however, I need to have my sec. I need to have my double jump a little. Hello there. Uh, I need to have my double jump saved up um, in order to actually pull this off. So um, that's why I, I need to get up into that upwards flow with just a single jump. Um, hence, hence this little bit. Um, this is not a technique I am particularly good at at the moment. Um, Oh, lag spike. Uh, yeah, it's one I'm working on, but have not yet mastered. That could have been good. Okay, interesting. It seems it's almost better to hit... Uh, hit the object further to the right. Than I've been doing. Nope. Enough height. Apparently I didn't even jump there. Um, and now we're out of speed boost. So yeah, I could be using uh, this gear in order to get a uh, speed boost with fill up time, but I realize people may prefer to, s like people don't know I know what I know that that gear doesn't provide any advantage over. Um, it's identical. It's like Battlelord Helm. It's all identical to Quick School Speed. Well, if I don't use the head ability from it, it's all identical to a Quick School Speed boost. However, I appreciate that. It's nice to be able to trust that this was done entirely legitimately. So, no modded items for me, um, which means we are going to have to wait for a little bit of a cooldown. On the hat because yeah i am not very good at this trick currently uh the video from the other day with uh that seemed like i that seemed like there was a slight delay between me hitting space there and actually uh getting my getting my double jump that should never be um i don't know what caused that but Nope, I lost moment and lag spikes galore. Don't know what's causing them. And now we're out of out of speed boost. Can I recover this? Highly doubt it, but worth a try. Um, there is no point uh, resetting my double jump with the ground pound on this. By the way, um, takes too long. And you get pushed out of the waterfall by uh, by the time the ground pounds reset. Double jump, so that's out of the question. Oh, that was close, but not quite there. So yeah, it seems to be the actually fairly light jump seems to be what you want. It's you seem to not want to go too far to the left either yeah let's um yeah and you definitely need a speed boost um come on come on there we are I'm going to wait until the speed boost runs out because that's when I'm most confident in my ability to make this next jump. 
yeah, that was a little far. Um, I was, I think, too far to the left on that one. Yeah, I think this is also a more accurate representation than that collection of uh, clips of me succeeding at it. I wanted to do something like a collection of those clips just to have demonstrations of what... Well, partially for my own sake, but just have some sense of what successful runs tended to look like. That was close. Um, but that was like 40 minutes of footage. Um into one minute of actually successful attempts and yeah okay that 48 minutes of footage included stuff like resets when i fell off but still you can get a sense of this is a fairly difficult trick at least i find it fairly difficult me finding it fairly difficult does not imply fairly difficult necessarily but Uh, nope. Can I land that? Nope. Um, yeah, so there is there is a vague spot I'm aiming for, but I've never actually perfected. I've never worked out precisely where the spot is. Um, I've got a rough location on the wall that I'm looking at and that I'm aiming for. But it's rough. Um... Not even close. Pretty close. I think it may even have been um, achievable had I jumped with slightly different timing. Yeah, I don't have a ton of interesting stuff to keep saying here because it will just be me continuing to do this until I get it. I mean, that was stupid. Double jumped early. Um, yeah, it's gonna take a gonna take a hot minute. But yeah, essentially, this is the new. This would be the new default out of bounds for um, non-venture league players. Um, it's not the easiest out of bounds to do in Nild Forest. There is an easier one, but the easier one requires spring shoes and is therefore expensive. So hence, hence if I'm if I'm if we're coming up with a venture leagueless route, it might as well be a spring shoeless route as well, because um, like you can do anything you want with spring shoes. So it's kind of saying, hey, I can do this with spring shoes is boring. There are multiple ways you can get to the ship with spring shoes. About time for this reboost to run out. Um, probably wouldn't have made it even with the speed boost though. I'm jumping mostly too late on these, I think. Not quite. I've noticed that a lot of good runs actually tend to start fairly slowly and tend to pick up speed. Congratulations, Forensic. Well, oh. 
There we are. Nets gained imagination. And yeah, this is what you've gotten yourselves in for, for a video. They'll probably, I probably will do an edited down form of this because the editing should be pretty simple. Um, it should essentially just be a cut at the start to the run which works and it should not take me a long time to find the run which works. So. Uh, so yeah, in principle, in principle, this one's not a hard one to edit down. Don't think I need as long a run up as I'm taking on many of these, and it probably would get me more attempts per speed boost if I didn't bother with such a long run up. Don't normally get held in, held that low down for that long. Um, as I did in that last one, I think the lag very much had something to do with it. Nope. Yeah, there's a little bit of... Um, honestly, I should just really work on finding the like proper angle to do this at. Um, because there's... Cause in climbing upwards, I'm normally doing a lot of, um, oh, okay, yeah, that, I swear, I swear there was like a second there where my double jump didn't come through. I don't know if I just hit it wrong or something, hit the keyboard, I mean, that shouldn't. I know, I know, okay, yeah, technically if I don't, if I don't hit it hard enough, my keyboard apparently doesn't register. A jump. Um, okay, so yeah, I'm looking at... You can see I'm just going to use the arrow on my mission pointer here. So you can see this line coming down there and it kind of stops about there. I'm aiming for a little bit to the side of that. And I missed again. I shouldn't be missing this often. Uh, maybe this is just a sign that I go on to, uh, to the test server and practice for a bit. Um, because it's not, it's not this hard, um, of a jump. I think I need to, I think I know why I'm doing that though. I think I need to aim. It's very specifically, I need to aim further to the right. Not even close. Also not even close. Pretty good. Not close enough. Also close. Yeah, so you can see it a little bit more clearly there. I should be aiming probably more like that position. Okay. So I'm going to aim further to the right this time. Two. 
soon on the ground pound. Can I make that? No, I can't. Oh, I didn't get enough distance that time. This is this is reached from those times where I can do it instinctively. However, because I messed up that because I messed up the first couple, I'm now thinking about it way too consciously, which isn't a bad thing. This is just going to make me a bit better at the game. It will make me. Like, it will just force me to understand a little bit more what's going on in my successful runs, which I need to anyway, if I want to ever get consistent at this. So that's fine. It's a little bit annoying, but it's overall fine. But yeah, so there, there are some fun places you can now get uh, completely spring shoeless in Nald Forest. And in general, most of Nald Forest is now more or less open. Um, most of, like, you can get basically anywhere in Nald Forest from Out of Bounds now. Or at least you can make it around essentially the entire map. Um, in Out of, the entire Out of Bounds and Out of Bounds. Like, you can't necessarily climb to the top of every invisible wall out of bounds you can't even necessarily climb to the top of every visible visible mountain out of bounds but you can get you can cover essentially the entirety of the map that isn't covered by a death plane you can get basically throughout all of that remaining out of bounds at all times which is pretty cool there are still one or two places you can't quite get. Um, but I think I think there will be ways there. I think I just haven't found them currently. And no one else cares enough to. So it'll kind of have to be me. I mean, I say that... And yet I am doing I am doing a route which um or at least a trick which at the start of this uh, someone else came up with, which was lovely. And yeah, I cannot shout out Cook enough for uh finding this, because it's very, very cool. There we are. Watch me breaking the like one rule of uh, LU parkour there by turning my camera cool okay we're on top um so from here so this is your route out of bounds we can now get our bounds i need to actually think about where i want to go from here uh where I, where i actually need to get to i'm realizing that um no this is oh there's one reason this might actually be harder than i anticipated <laughs> i'm just remembering Oh, I didn't think about that. Because I need to get up again, looking at uh, where my mission pointer is. I need to get up there. To get up onto that onto that ridge as my next step. And I I don't remember my way up there. I'm sure I have come up with a way up. I don't remember what it is. And like the all the obvious ways up onto that ridge require require super jumps shoot what was my route was it just being just very tediously running along this edge here i think there's a reasonable chance it might have been that but i remember there being a jump over there which is non-trivial remember there being a somewhat difficult jump there um and there's no way up from further along i don't think okay I know we have to go down here. I'm pretty certain it's there's nothing around here which will let me get up. But I should check here first before making my life harder and looking for ways of getting up in other places. I should also be a little bit careful not to get caught by the trees because if I walk too far, 
this way. Will I get? No, I won't get trapped by trees if I walk too far that way. Um, okay, so I think, let's just see. I think the roots probably involves me very carefully <coughs> uh, running along this edge. If I had to guess. Yeah, okay. This seems not unreasonable. I really thought this was hard. Uh, maybe it is. Yeah, because yeah, there's this part. How do I manage this part? Um, okay, there's no ape down there. That's good. Do I, do I climb on the trees to get by here? Doesn't seem like a terrible idea. Uh, and now I think I'm... Oh, please. Yeah, I think I'm probably stuck, actually. I, for, I forgot right until I jumped into this... That's, oh wait, yeah, I don't think there's a way out without spring shoes. Um, or without a super jump. Do I, do I use and abuse spring shoes for this? So I mean this, oh, come on, that's close, that's close. Yes, okay, we can get back out, that's good. Um, I know there was a way across. I don't remember what it was. Okay, that works. <laughs> yeah, uh, point, points where you realise you haven't actually prepped as well for this as you thought you might have done. Really? That is... Okay, now I can recover this at least in principle. That's one of the dumbest places to fall. And if I now get hit by the ape... This will be one of the dumbest possible deaths. Okay, no, I am actually stuck down here. Pretty certain. No? Really? Wow. Oh, you really throwing me a bone here. Um... <laughs> uh, where's the actual route up? I don't remember. There we are. Okay. Sorry, they're an absolute... <sighs> really? Okay, well, at least we know the way back up. It's tedious, but we know the way back up. This really... There shouldn't have been any need to cut any parts of this. Like, this should really have just been a first try thing. <laughs> and yet, I've managed to make this so excessively difficult for myself. Um, by just gen general skill issues on my part. And now we get stuck down here. But hey, we know at least we can get out. I said we know at least we can get out. <laughs> Uh, great. <laughs> Maybe I'll just do the safe reset. But where would the fun be in that? And the fun would be in actually managing to reset. Um, that's that's where the fun would be. It would be in managing to reset and managing to actually do the trick which I'm here to do. Um, honestly, this trick is so dumb. Like, I should have... I should have spotted this before, and I didn't. Okay, let's not fall in an absolutely stupid place this time. There we are. Okay, let's also not get hit by the ape, because we may come within aggro range. If we're not careful. Oh, and I forget how I have to aim myself for this, and I don't have super jump to save me. If I miss? Okay, I didn't miss. Okay, and here's on to the new part. Right, shouldn't... Okay, there we are. I was confused as to why I wasn't getting pushed back. Yeah, so I didn't try this previously, and it's really dumb. Oh, okay, I do not want to fall down there. Um, what's it? It is somewhere like here, um, and you can literally just... 
Oh, this is weird. There might be a like server lag. I don't know. Um, yeah, okay. Well, regardless, there we are. There we are. So this has been the boat route done without any need for spring shoes, any need for super jumps whatsoever. Um, just using uh, the cooks. Really, really cool. Quote unquote salmoning trick. Which is also the coolest name we have for any trick yet. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Been Intravel you, and I'll see you around. Bye. I said bye. <laughs> the reason that was that was dumb. Um Yeah, okay, bye.